At AHF, we implement many activities to promote access to treatment. We found that the reasons clients continue their treatment could be many things like having a stable job, being able to afford transportation to the hospital, having someone who will listen and understand, and sometimes hope. Our volunteer called us one day, told us they wanted to help a young girl who was born with HIV. Her mother passed away and her father left her, so she was raised by her grandparents. She was rather small when compared to other girls because of malnutrition. She grew up facing stigma from her own grandmother for being the only grandchild with HIV. As a young girl, she did not understand why she was the only one with the virus. She felt worthless and started to develop depression. And at one point, it became too much to take that she told our HIV nurse and volunteer that she did not want to live anymore. After we talked to the HIV nurse and the volunteer, we decided to include her in our Food for Health initiative. We gave her 40 layer chickens and some small money to start the project so she could have nutritious food to start with and more importantly, could feel the dignity that she could do something. Before the project started, she wanted to thank us for her participation. So the HIV nurse called us and passed the phone to her so she could talk to us. What I heard on the line was, thank you so much for giving me the chickens. I will do my best to raise them. What I heard was not just a young girl thanking us for the support. I heard the hope in her voice and I could feel the will to go on in her heart. That small project not only empowered a hopeless girl, it also empowered the HIV team at the hospital and us. It made us realize how a small help can sometimes mean such a big hope to someone who's at life's dead end. At AHF, life-changing efforts like this keep us going.